I've been working on a project to make e-bikes easier to build with less wiring clutter for some time, but the scope of the idea kept increasing, so I've been putting off doing a video. It started off as wanting to have some nice rear-facing bike lights, and it's developed into a turnkey solution to deliver lighting, display, security, mud and water management, as well as reducing the cable clutter. This is something that's still very much in development, but I wanted to bring this to the e-bike community for feedback and input. I've also been asked a few questions in the past as to how I develop the various bits I make for my bikes, so I thought it would be fun to do some videos of how I go about this process. So a quick overview of the setup as it's currently designed. For the rear cluster, I'm looking at having brake and indicator lights, as well as the usual solid red running light. The attachment would be via the seat post. The lower fin that you can see is for the attachment of a mudguard for the rear wheel. There's kind of limited space on a seat post so I figured if I took care of the mudguard as well there'd be more room on the seat post for a really nice beefy fixing bracket that would stand up to abuse and also possibly allow for wiring to pass through internally if necessary. The front cluster has the main beam headlight on the front along with turn indicators. There is a bracket as well for a front mudguard. Most bikes don't come with them, so it's one less thing to take care of. The lights are combined into a display mount as well for the NXT display, and there's sun shielding to help in bright conditions. The NXT touchscreen display will be an integral part of this design. It will work without, but the NXT integration will provide some key benefits. The biggest one for me being enhanced bike security. The NXT will dock with the front of the unit to form the head-up display component. When you get to where you're going, you undock the display and take it with you, like one of those proximity keys you get with cars these days. The display can be coded to the bike's motor controller. Without the display, the bike won't run. A different display would not work either, as the display controller combination would be unique. It will also allow parts to be tracked and aid with the recovery of stolen vehicles. There is also potential to link the display to a battery's BMS as well as to the motor itself. That functionality would need cooperation from other manufacturers. But the potential is clearly there to make e-bikes much, much less attractive to thieves with this system. Something that does not work won't be very valuable. And if someone buys a stolen kit and tries to get it unlocked, then it's going to be easy to see that it's been stolen. In some areas of the world, there is a path to make your bike road legal. So one of the aims of this project is to deliver a turnkey solution to allow a rider to do just that. It will have a front light, turn signals, front and back, as well as brake and tail lights, which covers many other things that are required by the law. It will achieve this with basically two things that bolt onto your bike. In addition, providing the mud guards, which I believe are also a legal requirement in most places and you really need them on the road regardless. So hopefully it will make it simple to tick off a large number of boxes and allow riders to focus on the other important things like making sure the brakes are up to standard and getting the gearing right. Right now I'm in the design and development phase with this. Alan from ERT says there are no issues with the coding for the security part of the system so from a software point of view it's a go. Over the next few months, I will be hammering out the design details as well as testing the required wiring and looking into manufacturing of the various parts. If everything goes well, I'd like to have a prototype running towards the middle of the year. If anybody has any suggestions, I'd love to hear from you and I will update on this project as it moves forward. Cheers.